Hello and welcome back to the attic. I just bought myself a new toy. This is a voltage breakdown tester and it's uh, under 20 bucks from Ali AliExpress and you can find these anywhere from 16 to 20 dollars. Now you know I like uh, I think electronics should be free so there's a lot of you know this is an old UPS uh, a lot of parts you can get off it teach you a little bit how to solder but uh, you know there's a lot of stuff out there I really enjoy taking things apart it's kind of restful so uh, this is the tester and you can select the maximum voltage with this and you can select the current so let's turn it on it'll do a self check okay now it comes with three leads uh, two of the negatives are tied together there's a terminal for a, a third lead there because sometimes uh, uh, when you're testing FETs, you have to short out two leads, the uh, the, the uh, source and the uh, gate. Uh, the same with transistors, you'd, you'd short the base and the uh, emitter. And if you're doing with PNP devices or PFETs, uh, you'd need two negative ones. But, you know, you can switch these around or you can just make another new one. But uh, this is how handy it is. Okay. Uh, a lot of uh, MOVs will have the voltage sort of printed on them. It's, sometimes it's the recommended voltage. Sometimes it's the maximum uh, DC where they'll start conducting. And sometimes you can't tell. Sometimes you may not know if it's a good, good MOV or not. You know, maybe it's been hit too many times. But here I got this thing set around 1,400 volts. And so we just press it. And this MOV starts conducting at uh, 231 and this is a little bit bigger one that's uh, 470 volts uh, basically FETs are rated at uh, the voltage where they start conducting 1 milliamps so it actually clamps at a much higher voltage well here's another little, little MOV Ooh, what's happening here? Well, it looks like the others, but it's not. This is a, a Y capacitor, and it's designed to take a lot of voltage, generally around uh, 4 kilovolts. And uh, they have all these safety uh, notices on them, and, uh, you know, who they've been approved by. It's easy to mix them up, uh, especially when you can't see as well as I can. So now uh, with devices, this is a six, six K, six K P K E sixty eight or something like that. Uh, it's a TVS, and so ooh, right on the money. Here's a Zener. and that's an eighteen volt Zener. I'm. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but uh, I'd like, to, this is just a standard meter they put in here, a 3000 volt meter, but uh, most of these standard meters like this have a place where you can put a decimal point in, so they'll have a little, uh, little solder tab where you can adjust where it is, and uh, you know, you can change the dropping resistor, so instead of a 3000 volt meter, it's a 300 volt meter, and that would give you a tenth of a volt. Might do it, might not, I don't know. It's kind of convenient the way it is, uh, but at real low voltages, uh, you know, you don't have a lot of definition. So this is a uh, 3205 FET. This is common in many, you know, 12 volt inverters. And that reads 62 volts. Uh, FETs have a avalanche diode inside, so it's it's kind of like a big zener, and it's generally a little over 10 percent. Uh, of what the rated voltage is so this is a 55 volt FET and as you can see it starts conducting at 62 you know really handy so uh, like I say you can you can get these on Aliexpress uh, they vary all over the place it has a built-in uh, lipo battery a little on off switch here there's the charger for it 
really convenient. I mean, you know, uh, I've used uh, a lot of my capacitor testers. You know, they have a adjustable voltage on them you can uh, test things with. It says you can test capacitors with this, and that's true. If you have a capacitor and you want to know if it's, you know, can take 400 volts, you can put 400 volts on it. But uh, don't raise it too hard because if you puncture a capacitor, you don't want to use it again. Uh, at least I wouldn't trust it. Uh, this would be <laughs> handy for old paper capacitors. They would have a lot of leakage, and this would be a, a good tester for them. But uh, most capacitors uh, would, would probably test good. I wouldn't recommend it. Electrolytics, uh, you can see at what point they'll start having, you know, one milliamp two or three milliamps leakage, uh, just a rough test. But for MOSFETs, uh, Zeners, things like that, this is a great little tester. You know, get yourself some old electronics and uh, pull parts off. So thanks for watching.